everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for the day. For today's workout, I am using some equipment. I have a jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, you can do ropeless jumping. I'm also going to be using a barbell and dumbbells. If you don't have a barbell, you can use dumbbells for all of the exercises. If you don't have dumbbells, you can either do the exercises with body weight only or you can get creative and hold on to something in your house like a milk jug or uh, soup cans or anything you have that will just add a little bit of resistance. I have my interval timer set for 21 rounds of 10 seconds rest, 50 seconds maximum reps. So let's get started. Exercise number one is jump roping. We have 10 seconds to prep and you're going to try and get in as many jumps as you can in 50 seconds. Make sure you're breathing the whole time. Grab your barbell or dumbbells. Let's keep this back a little bit. Weight shifts back into your heels. Core tight. Feet a little more than hip distance apart. Power up through the hips. And then. Keep that back straight throughout the movement. Keep breathing. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Next we have quadruped leg raise. So onto the mat on all fours, and we're gonna alternate legs, core tight, kicking back. So you want to not arch the back too much, so you're reaching your leg toward the back wall and up a little bit. Really press through that foot. And next we're going to be back to jump rope. Hands beneath the shoulders. Okay, back to jump rope. Or ropeless jumping. we have warrior deadlift. I'm going to use dumbbells for this one. Right leg is going to extend first, flat back, so extend, 
Slight bend can be in the standing leg. Knee faces the floor and down. Wait, drop down, and just naturally move up as you raise your back. Breathing. Same thing on the other side. Rest for a second, shake it out if you need to. So we're going to extend the left leg this time. Balancing on the right foot. Knee faces the ground the whole time. Hips are squared forward. Back flat. Okay, next we have dive bombers. So start in your plank position, hips lift to down dog, and then you're gonna bend the elbows, chest goes toward the ground, hips follow, look up, reverse it, and repeat. Keep breathing. Okay, next we have jump rope again. we're doing split squat. So I'm going to use a chair or anything you can put your foot on. And you can hold on to one or two weights. Right leg will go back first. Hips are going to go up and down. Chest stays straight. Next come forward a little more. There we go. And straight up. Pushing through the heel. So it's not a forward backward motion, it's up and down. Shake out that foot. My foot was burning. Okay, this time our left foot is going to go back. Nice big step forward. Foot reaches 
the back for the chair, or whatever you're putting your foot up on. Up and down motion of the hips. Shoulders back, chest lifted. And push through the heel. we have plank walkouts. So we're going to start in a plank position and we're going to walk our hands back to our feet into a forward pull. As far as you can and then walk it back up. Hit your plank. Keep going. Rock that weight back into your heels if you can. I like to lift my toes for an added stretch. Jump rope is next. Remember, if you step on your rope, just get right back into it. shoulder lunge position so like a split squat up and down motion we're going to press up to the ceiling bring it back down I'll show you from the side but instead of a press we're going to do a curl so left leg forward big step backwards and we're going to pulse and curl so arms extend as the knees bend breathing. Okay, next we have Superman's. So we get to lay down on the mat. Belly down. And we're gonna lift our arms and our feet at the same time. Here we go. Lift, hold. 
So you're actually reaching through the wall in front of you and the wall behind you as you lift. And breathe. We're going to be back to jump roping next. Okay. I'm trying to aim for about 120 jumps, at least for each 50 second jump rope interval. I like having that number to push myself with. Take a weight with this one. I'm gonna use the heavier weight. Put the weight in the middle, plank on either side. Left arm will go first. Row, bring it across toward your right hand, plank. Row, bring it across to your left hand, plank. So for the row, you are going to bring it up to the outside of your rib cage. stays tight throughout the movement. Weight should be below your shoulder. Okay, next we have bolted twist. So you can do a forward bend to this time, core tight, back straight, slight bend in the right, knee twist, look toward the thumb, then switch. Try and keep that core tight and really twist from your midsection. Next, we're going to have another round of jump rope. We have curtsy lunge. One weight this time. Hold it between both hands, shoulder height. We're going to take a step, left foot toward right corner of the room, twist the weight to the outside of your hip, center, come up, alternate sides. 
So stepping back and across. And again, twisting through that core, engaging the transverse abs. Okay, and then final exercise is pigeon stretch. So we're going to switch sides, plank position, knee comes forward. We're going to lift, stretch forward, plant the hands back to plank. Knee bends forward, lift, forward stretch, lift it up, back to plank. stretching and strengthening at the same time. Good job. Okay, so that was the workout. Um, as always, the breakdown will be on my blog, benderfitness.com, along with over 500 other free workouts, recipes, and tips for healthy living. So click subscribe if you like getting free workouts, and click like if you liked the workout. So I hope to see you guys there next time. Also, big announcement for my January challenge, so check for that. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.